What's up, everybody? In this video, I'm going to show you how to use PancakeSwap on iPhone using Trust Wallet. So let's say, for example, you open up your iPhone, you download a Trust Wallet, you set it up, you create a new wallet, you back up your seed phrase, make sure you always do that and don't ever share with anybody. And keep in mind, store your seed phrase securely somewhere make sure you always have access preferably off your phone just in case if something's gonna happen to your phone so you can recover your wallet otherwise if you will lose your seed phrase and something's gonna happen to your wallet there is no way you're gonna be able to recover and there is no such a thing help desk to call them and ask them hey can you guys help me to recover a wallet so I have set up my trust wallet and right now on a trust wallet, I have a couple different coins. So to actually use a pancake swap with a trust wallet, you have to have smart chain. So this is basically Binance coin, but on their smart Binance chain, you have to have that coin to make any transfer on pancake swap because that's what you're going to use to pay for gas fees. For example, if you're exchanging, I don't know, like MetaHero to something else, you still have to have Binance Smart Chain token. So for example, to do that, what you can do, you can just press on Smart Chain and then press on Buy Smart Chain. And you can put amount, how much you wanted to buy. I think the minimum is like 50 or $60. And then you can press right here, you can choose different one this is basically going to give you the best rate or for example if you have for some reason just a regular native binance token which you can do you can press on it and then you can press on swap and right here you can press on swap to smart chain and it's going to convert your bnb to smart chain that's the same token as just on different blockchains so to make any kind of change make sure you have bnb smart chain in your wallet then what we need to do we need to connect our trust wallet to pancake swap right here you don't see any dap tab or dap button for example if you would have an android you would have seen the dap button and then when you press on it you would be able to see pancake swap or maybe uniswap or maybe some other swaps dexas but in this case apple made trust wallet to remove that but you still can use with the pancake swap so here's what we need to do we need to open our Safari browser and go to pancakeswap.finance and right here on the top right corner we need to press on connect wallet once this window is going to appear we need to press on wallet connect then this window is going to appear right here we need to choose which wallet we're trying to use and since we're using trust so we're just going to press on trust then this window is going to appear and then right here we need to press on connect Okay, now you can see wallet connected. Now you can go back to your browser. We're gonna go back to the browser. So what I'm actually gonna do, I'm gonna change Meta Hero. I'm gonna change to Binance USD dollars. I know this is the pair they're using. And if you're looking for some kind of specific coins or you're trying to add some kind of specific coin, you press on the top right corner here. You can search it here, or you can scroll all the way down at custom token and you can paste contract address here and the name symbol and decimal most likely like it's going to add by default and then right here where it says network we need to change if you're doing this on a smart chain or maybe other chains you just need to choose correct blockchain i'm going to press cancel and done since i already have meta hero what i'm going to do i'm going to change to binance usd and i'm going to see if it's going to add that token by default if not i'll add it later so now i'm going to go back to my pancake swap and as you can see my wallet's already connected because once you press on right here in the top right corner i can press on disconnect always once you get done using some kind of dex i would recommend disconnect once you're done so then what i'm going to do i'm going to scroll down and press on trade now and by default it gives you bnb to cake we're going to change that hero and then from cake we're going to change we're actually going to set binance usd and right here on top you can see balance 63 hero tokens that's what i have i'm going to exchange all the tokens to binance usd dollars i'm going to press on max this is how much i'm going to be getting 12 binance usd dollars and 66 cents so now 
right here you can see minimum receive price impact and liquidity provider fee 15 cents this is the actually 50 cents going to be coming from that binance smart chain token that bnb token press on enable hero then we have to press on confirm here this is our fees going to be with the bnb as you can see right here confirm and now it says you can go back to your browser i'm going to go back here and then this is going to change to a swap we'll see a swap button now we have to press on swap and then in here we just have to confirm swap and then confirm and now again we can go back to our web page and it says waiting for confirmation confirmation was already complete so we just have to wait a little bit and that's it now if we go back to our trust wallet and we refresh and you can see now my meta hero is gone and by some reason it did not add it by default binance usd dollars so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna press on this top right corner and i'm gonna type busd and then i'm gonna enable the one that says bep 20 and then i press done and that's it you can see right here it's appeared and i have 12 dollars and 66 cents with binance usd dollar and this is pretty much it you still can use trust wallet with binance smart chain or with pancake swap with uniswap or with any other swaps that you would like to use they just had to remove that dap tab from your phone but if you're using android phone that tab is still going to be there it's going to be much easier but on an iphone or ipad you're just gonna have to go to physical website and you have to go back and forth from the app to your website and this is it if this video was helpful to you press that like button and don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching